G'day folks, Wayne from Lander Bay Fishing. Well, we're going to get started on the live bait tank. Very easy fit for the um, for the bubbler. That just sits on the bottom. That's wired up to a switch. So nice easy one for that. This is the 90mm bilge out. So the bilge pump will be fitted inside the tank. Um, fittings that goes through the, the pulley out to the side of the boat. Uh, and that'll be for overflow uh, just, just at the top. And then we've got the bilge in, so as I said, that's the, that I'll make this up as a track for the back. That's an adapter from a 19mm um, bilge down to a 12mm for the hose. And uh, that, that there will be into the, the tank. And the hose will run obviously from the bilge at the back of the boat through to the tank. Sikaflex, double switch. So this is our box, um, this 2mm thick, so it's uh, 30 by 15 by 2 millimeters. That's all cut up. Um, the flat is 3mm and this is 25 by 3 so that's the bit that goes inside the box. What I've done down the end here is I've used the spacer just out of the bits and pieces box. So a little spacer in between the pump and the screw. Then I've screwed the pump on to the end of that spacer and it sits really well. Comes off easy to clean. And now you might be thinking, probably not the strongest and that'll come apart, but it doesn't matter if it does come apart because it can't go anywhere. It's going to be connected by the hose and the wire will run up alongside the hose as well. So if it does flap off, it's only going to flap and uh, I'll put it back on and put a zip tie around it if I have to, but I don't think I'll have to. I reckon that, that'll be alright. So this slides into the box. The flap will be cut to length. The box will be attached to the boat. And then it's as easy as using the bolts that I secure it with. It'll have a wing nut up here um, to slide it up and down to the right height. And then lock it off. And this is what I'm going to use for the adjustment. A couple of bolts of wing nuts, some stainless steel washers and uh, a couple of nylon washers. So that's it done. They're M10, so 10mm bolts. Um, 10 mil drill hole obviously and the bolt straight through I couldn't put the, the stainless steel washer 
behind the um, the bolt head because it just didn't fit in here so it's quite a not an interference fit but it's quite a tight fit which is really good that's loose and it's it's not difficult to move but hard enough that uh, that it takes a lot to move it it's not just slippery slidey all over the place and these tighten up really good with the uh, nylon washers and once it's tight it's perfect so that's the bilge fitted to the boat little accessories plate here at the bottom of the boat and uh, that's the slide there so I can loosen that when that's loose it is adjustable I'll move it up if I need to get it out of the water but, uh, mostly it'll just stay right down the bottom there it's high enough away from the uh, transducer that it, it shouldn't affect the transducer hopefully but uh, I guess we'll see if it does I'll move it screw through the top screw through the bottom down here and there's still just a little gap in between it there so if I need to I'll be able to use zip ties to hold the uh, hose and the wires in so that's the hole I've drilled for the outlet 26 mil I use the, uh, the everything bit does every hole work really well I originally thought I'd put it around here I even drew the lines up put it here but even with a hundred mil I'm just not sure whether or not I'd have problems with cracking on this side so I thought rather than put it on the same side as the bilge for the boat I'd put it on this side and uh, that way I don't have to worry about the two of them being close together and having cracking issues but uh, sick of flex somewhere on this side around the other side So that's the base for the bubbler. I've got the switch in for the two bilges. So bilge at the back here, you push back. Bilge at the front, you push forward. Put in a little earth bar there. That'll be the earth for both the um, the bilge and the bubbler. A bit overkill at the moment, but I'll also put uh, a couple of different lights or earth from that later on down the track. So this one's for the bubbler. That's power from the bubbler. It's come up through a uh, connection here. As you can see, I've used shrink wrap on both sides of the connection to seal that. Then I've put a bigger shrink wrap over the whole connection and uh, and and seal that up. So. That becomes waterproof which is what you want in a boat so I'll put that in that way so off back ons forward and uh, then that goes down to the battery you can see how it's sealed that there again with shrink wrap all the way up over the actual connection and over the neck of the connection to try and stop water getting back down it now it's never going to stop everything but they'll do a much better job than just leaving it raw That's a sealed unit. Costs a little bit extra for sealed units, but and you know, this one's going to last for years and years. Whereas one that's not sealed, like this one, there's every chance that'll get corrosion in it and 
and die within the next couple of years. So wiring all tied it up, normal bilge for the boat, bilge that way is the rear bilge for building into the uh, live bait tank, that way there's the bilge in the tank that bilges out when I want to empty it, that one there's the bubbler. This one here will be a switch when I buy it for an on off switch for the, um, the sounder, the Lowrance. Nice and tidy. Uh, I thought about running some insulation around the wires, but at the end of the day, I don't really need to. And uh, when something goes wrong or I need to repair something, it's much easier without the insulation on. So I'll leave it like that. The plumbing. The plumbing here, you can see this is for the bilge. That's a, um, a through adapter. So it goes right through, the bilge comes up, comes out, and that comes down back through to the back hole. The one beside it's the input, the smaller one. So that's the bilge in. And then this top one here is just overflow. So if anything comes up the top here, that overflows back to the bilge. So this is the inside bilge pump bubbler. This is the bilge out. This is the bilge in. So the input, water comes through there to fill up. And that's the overflow. The tank's a poly tank. Uh, hopefully this will work really well. Just got to fill it up now and have a look at it. Uh, Bill John. There you go, it seems to be working. There you go, that's going all right. Let that come up a little bit by the bubble, see that one. Bubble are on. Bubble works. Now we'll turn the aerator off. We know that works. Turn the bilge off and bilge out. It should come through that hole. And there you go. The bilge out is working. So it looks good to me. I haven't got a drain bung in this yet. If I need to, I will put a drain bung in. Build off. And we're done. Well, folks, that worked all right. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Hit that like button for me if you haven't already subscribed. And I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.